Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellieDesign.com. I wanted to make this quick video to really answer a question that a lot of people ask me. How can you share a project in Design Space? So sharing a project is pretty easy, but in some cases you won't be able to share a project. And this is what I'm going to show you. So you can come here in my project and you're going to see all your projects. Now, something you can notice right away is that there's a little A for Cricut Access and some others don't have it. Usually, and I say usually, <laughs> the one that doesn't have any A from Cricut Access, you won't be able to share them. And why? Well, if you look at this one, this one has a little one-up mushroom from Mario. So this is obviously something that I uploaded from outside design space. So it's not a design space image. So each and every time you have something that you uploaded with this button, the upload button, you won't be able to share it. Now, it gets complicated because of one thing, and I'm going to show it to you right away. But first, I want to show you how to share a project. Now, this project, I made it with only Cricut Design Space images, but I did make it myself. So if we look at it, I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see everything that I have used in this uh, project. So I've used the hand that comes from this, the heart that comes from this, this ice cream, and I had to get the little sprinkles from this one to this one. <laughs> well, I needed sprinkles. Everybody needs sprinkles. <laughs> So to share this project, it's pretty easy. You only need to click on this arrow and then you'll have the option to copy link, share on Facebook or share on Pinterest. But what I usually do is to copy the link. So if I copy the link, if the link is copied to clipboard and then I'm going to paste it, you can paste it in an email or wherever you want. And if your friend clicks on it, I'm going to show you what it does when you're in a browser. So let me control V to paste it, enter. And this is what's going to happen. So you're going to have the project and it's going to ask you to open in the app in Design Space. And if you're on a computer that doesn't have Design Space, well, it's going to suggest you download the app before opening it, of course. So another way to share your project is to make it public in Design Space. That's usually what I do to share it with you. So I don't have to always share the link. You can just go in my profile and find it. So you can click here to make it public. I'm going to show you where you can also click so in this page, you have make it public in design space also. So what happens if I click on this? Now you're going to have to accept all the terms of use and privacy policy. And it will saying that it will be also visible to others. So let's say OK. And now design space is happy with us. We're sharing, sharing a project. <laughs> then if you want to find it in my profile, well, I, I could click here. But I want to show you when you're in the home page of design space, you're going to type Nelly Design right here. So click enter and you scroll down all the way to the bottom. You're going to find my profile community members. That's me. So you click on it and you're going to see every project that I shared with you, including the one that we just shared publicly. So the other thing you can do is really edit the project details. So you come here and you can add another image. You can retitle the project, add a description and also add tags. So let's see if we add tags. Tags are very specific, so you won't be able to add whatever you want. I'm gonna add infusible ink. I know this is probably there. You see instrument, invitation. Um, if I try t-shirts, will it be there? See, maybe with this, no. So it doesn't seem to be there, so I'm not sure why, but it's pretty limited for what tags you can use. So you can really write maybe here, infusible ink t-shirt for a kid. Why not? And then piece love ice cream. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to add a picture. So this is a picture I have. So this is what it ended up looking like. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> so we save it. And usually you have your images right here and it seems to be a little problem with it. So I'm going to have to find out why this is not my day. <laughs> um, if you go and click on the arrow, though, you will see the image in Design Space. Now I'm going to show you with this project uh, canning stickers that I made. Uh, if you go and see this and you don't have Cricut Access, what you're going to see is the price for the circle, the price for the text. 
So you're going to be charged as you would be charged for any other Cricut Access project if you're not a Cricut Access member. If you are, just like me, it's going to say granted, granted, and subscribe, so it's free. If not, you're going to have a price right here, and you're going to need to pay to make it because it's not a free project. They will charge you the amount of each thing that is uh, used to build this project. Now, you see my image is right here and fine, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with the other one. Now, what's confusing, if you're trying to share an image uh, that has an uploaded image in it, it's very confusing because Design Space is going to let you share it anyway. So if I go here, it says the same thing. It says, OK. So people are going to be able to see this image, but when they go on it, it's going to say this project cannot be made or customized. So I don't know why they let us share it. <laughs> because it's not possible to share it. You're going to only see the image. So I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.